Hello, lads, lovelies, and everyone in between. So, a hardware review. I don't do these very commonly because I don't get that much hardware, right? And I don't want people sending me stuff that now I'm sort of obliged to say something nice because they gave me something for free. Mm. So, I'm going to talk about the Studio Form Creative Counterbalance Enthusiast Kit for the Pimax 8KX and 5K Super. So before I get to any of that sort of thing, let's sort of talk about the weight of headsets in general, which is to say they're actually all quite heavy, even the Quest 2. We probably already kind of know that. The Quest 2 is pretty much the lightest one, sort of. So just put the weights of these headsets in general, right? Because this all goes on your neck, right? Your neck's propping all this shit up. So. A Quest 2 with the jock strap is 1.11 pounds. And I figure that jock strap weighs about 50 grams. I know I'm switching between my measurement systems here. But take it into account with some of the later numbers here. A Quest 2 with an elite strap is about, I figure, about 1.39, 1.4 pounds. And with the battery pack you bought 1.7 those are sort of ballpark because i don't know the exact weight of the jock strap but my guess of 50 grams or so maybe even a little heavier but it's not going to be tremendous the only good thing you can say about the jock strap is that it's not heavy now the vario arrow that's surprisingly light actually that's probably why it's so damn expensive it's 1.58 pounds that's light. That's significantly lighter than a Quest 2 with a head strap. Well, significant, maybe not. It's hard to say, right? A lot of it depends on how the headset rests on your face, etc. A Pimax 5K Super weighs 1.65 pounds. An Index weighs 1.78. And the 8KX weighs 1.87. So, that's the rough sort of weight you're going to get on a VR headset. You know, the, I don't, I, I have like, see, I have both an Index and an 8KX, and then a Quest 2 with just the Elite Strap, no battery. I noticed that when I put on just the Elite Strap headset, like the Quest 2 with just the Elite Strap, it feels notably lighter than the Index or the 8KX. However, I didn't really notice any weight difference between the Index and the 8KX. They sort of fit against your face a little differently. But in terms of just the weight, I didn't really notice anything. So they're probably close enough and probably with the 5K Super. And part of it depends on what you're going to. If you were wearing your Quest with just the jock strap and you were to put on just about any other headset, you'd probably think that the Quest 2 feels much, much lighter. On the other hand, if you were to, you know, compare that with the Vario Aero and then maybe a, an Index or an 8KX, the Aero might seem quite lighter. But it'll probably only so much if you, like, tried one and the other sort of thing. You know what I mean? Because you kind of get used to the weight of whatever you're using. However, when it comes to the big headsets like the Index or the 8KX, especially the 8KX, there's really no getting around the fact that it's flipping heavy. It is, it's heavy. It's a heavy headset. So, it's a certain amount of hesitation I've had in getting a counterbalance kit. Because you're adding a fair amount of weight to something that is already quite heavy. But on the other hand, is it? Let's take my... 8KX. Here, I'm actually going to go a little further. The counterbalance kit for the 8KX or 5K Super, which about that in a moment, but I have an 8KX. So the weights that come with this kit is 300 grams. That's a fair amount. That's more than half a quest too, right? <laughs> so... I was very hesitant to add even more weight to the heavy 8KX. Balance or not, 
at some point it's just too flipping heavy. So I guess the question is, is this too flipping heavy? Well, I bought one, I bought the kit, and I played around with it, tested the fit. So there's two components. Here we are. So this, this is the Apache strap. So it's an extra strap that goes on the top. It is quite wide, as you can tell, and it is soft, sort of comfortable fabric, a little padded, very comfortable. So going into that, actually, real quick about sort of all these, uh, the weights, the straps, or anything, these are really well made. The stitching looks great. The Velcro is very strong, very good. Uh, these will outlast your headset, so there's really no concern about that. These are really well made. In terms of the actual build quality of the equipment from Studio Form Creative, absolutely five star. You can tell these are not cheap. These are rugged, these are durable. The stitching is excellent. There was no loose threads hanging off. Top notch. And about this Apache strap, I'll tell you, I really like it. I can absolutely say that you should probably think about getting one of these. For sure. They make them for just about every headset conceivable. I mean, if they make one for the AKX, they probably make it for what you're using. Just about everything. A link to their website will be in the description. They're in New Zealand. The shipping was not bad to Canada. And it got there pretty quick. It was by DHL. And DHL's annoying, but they did deliver it on actually a little early. So that's pretty nice. And yeah, it probably won't take too long to get to you. Yeah. So that's nice. I'm pleased with that part of the purchase. The real question, I mean, let's just be honest with a thicker, wider, padded strap is always going to be more comfortable than not having one, right? You kind of can use all the sort of distribution of the points of contact on your head as much as possible. This definitely helps with that. I love the Apache strap straight up. That's a strong recommendation for me for the Studio Form Creative Apache straps. Probably just whatever headset you have, this will be good. The weights, though, are a little bit different. I'm not saying I didn't like them, but I am saying that weights are complicated. And I will quickly show you how they're put on, right, like that. They just sort of Velcro on place, and they give you a bunch of little Velcro uh, straps that you can put on and use, move around as you need. And they give you way more than you would ever need, so that's useful. This, you can see it fits. Here, I'm just gonna try and get this nice thing shot. It just goes around the ear pieces. All right, so about the weights. The build quality of the weights is perfect, of course. Uh, there's just nothing you can say bad about that. Unsurprisingly, they're heavy though. <laughs> That's their point. That's why you bought these, to counterbalance the weight. My criticism is that you're adding a lot of weight to an already heavy headset. And this is gonna apply to probably just about any headset. Now, the Quest 2 with the battery strap kind of already does this with the battery pack. And this might be true for something like the 12K QLED 2, where the battery pack is at the back. So there might not be such an imbalance in weight distribution. But for headsets that are cabled, certainly it does sort of become an issue. So I guess the question is, is it uncomfortably heavy? Not super easy to answer. So I told you the weight of headsets, but that number is just kind of presented to you in a sort of a vacuum. So I can tell you that the AKX with the weights on is about 2.53 pounds. All right, that's even without much context. That's pretty heavy. That's pretty heavy. That's heavy. So what other things do people have that are often heavy that they wear on their heads? Anything comparable we can think of? I think there is. Army helmets. If you've seen my video on Punji VR, you know I've got one. That's an M1 helmet, probably an M1C actually. But anyway, that guy weighs 2.85 pounds. That helmet doesn't look like it's that heavy, but that's a steel helmet. 
it's heavy. It's heavy. You put your lid on and shit, you're like, damn, this is heavy. I don't particularly go off and feel like fighting in this thing. Actually, it's so heavy. But you might also say that's the M1. Right? We haven't put that on our heads for quite a while, have we? Well, that would be the ACH, right? That's what the US Army is using now. The good old advanced combat helmet. Solid bit of kit. So fucking solid, in fact, it's 3.88 pounds. If you've ever put one on, actually I have, it's very heavy. <laughs> However, all these helmets have a really cool feature is they keep shrapnel out of your brain. And you're not going to have a good time with shrapnel in your brain, so you're going to put the damn helmet on, right? <laughs> there is an ACH-2 coming out that's 2.94 pounds, so really not that different than the M1. And all of these are still heavier than the AKX with the weights. However, I put on my AKX for recreational fun. I do not put on a combat helmet for recreational fun. I put it on if I'm worried that I'm going to get shrapnel in my brain. Not a common problem I have in my day-to-day -day life. At least not where I am. If you're serving abroad overseas in some awful conflict zone, maybe it is. You know, maybe you'll take off your good old uh, Kevlar helmet and then toss on your counterbalanced AKX and be like, oh, this is so light. <laughs> that said, so after playing around with some games that involve a lot of moving around and stuff, Blade and Sorcery, U11 beta, check that out, by the way, I can say that you definitely notice it's heavier. You're like, wow, this is quite heavy. However, it does do what's on the tin. So I did notice pretty much right away that the weight is less front, right? Which obviously it should do. But would you really notice it? Yes. It is quite heavy, but the fit feels better. Because that weight is no longer just sort of resting and it depends on your face shape. For me, I have very prominent cheekbones. So VR headsets tend to rest not actually on my nose, but on my cheekbones. They don't really go on my beaky nose, but rather my weird cheekbones. So having the weight off my cheekbones was actually more comfortable. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And sort of Pretty much whatever your face shape is, the VR headset's going to be resting somewhere across here, right? And with the counterbalance, it doesn't do that nearly as much. It just feels like it's gently resting there rather than being supported by. So in that regard, these definitely worked well. And a sort of thing I didn't really quite expect is, particularly with the AKX, once in a while, I found myself sort of reaching up and quickly adjusting my headset because I'd sort of drift off my sweet spot. With these, that actually didn't happen. I could just sort of put my headset right where I got the best view, and then it would just stay there. That's actually quite nice. So, cool. However, it's still two and a half pounds. So... This is sort of a mixed blessing, right? It really does give you a better balance and it does take weight off of parts of your face. And especially with the extra wide Apache strap, the actual full weight of it's actually over a, a wider area now. And on a nice sort of cushiony bit of fabric instead of some of some narrowy, not cushioned fabric, right? So, I would definitely say get these in the kit. If you're going to get the counterbalance, also get the Apache strap. Otherwise, I find that way, I think that weight would be quite uncomfortable. Having it just on the thicker strap really made a big difference. I think that's what tilts this into being something I'm going to keep and continue using. Because I experimented and thought, okay, that was heavy. It did what was on the tin, but it was heavy. So I took off the weights and just left the Apache strap on and still an improvement, still an improvement. Definitely like that Apache strap. However, I immediately got, ah, geez, this is front heavy. And of course the weight that was 
all, you know, previously balanced is now on my face again. So I put them back on and I thought, yeah, you know what? That actually is more comfortable despite the weight. My concern is though over a very long gaming session, that would start to feel tiring. So for a couple rounds of Blade and Sorcery, it wasn't a problem. But maybe if you're spending, you know, four or five hours in VR chat, maybe you don't want to put the weights on. It sort of depends on what your neck is like. I have a pretty solid neck. I'm like a Cardassian. There's just no missing it. I have a good, strong neck, you know. And again, if you're someone with a smaller, lighter build, because I am frequently large, this might be a bit too much. It's sort of my concern. I would say I do recommend this product, but I would say not necessarily for everyone because it really is pushing the weight up to levels that are on the edge of uncomfortable. And if you're a smaller person, I think this would be uncomfortable. However, I can't say for sure. The actual balancing just still might be worth it to you anyway, but that is definitely a consideration for you. Now, another sort of thing I wanted to bring up a little bit. I noticed that the index kit has 200 gram weights. I find that a bit surprising because the 5K Super weighs a good chunk less than the index. Yet this is the 5K Super slash 8KX kit. So I would have liked to have seen them give you some options for that because the 5k super is only 750 grams 809 for the index and 850 for the 8kx so you can see there now the way that the headsets is a little different but not wildly different okay just a thought just a thought but i think i'm pretty comfortable saying actually i quite happy I purchased this comfort kit from Studio Form Creative. The build quality is absolutely top notch. Regardless of whatever headset you have, I'd say if you order from Studio Form Creative, you'll be very pleased with the quality of the product you receive. It's just really my only hesitation is, well, there isn't a hesitation with the Apache straps. Thumbs up. The hesitation is adding a bunch of extra weight that now your neck has to bear on top of the size of your massive brain, it's going to be heavy. There's just no way around that with the counterbalance. I guess what really remains to sort of be seen, and you'd really have to spend quite a lot of time in this to see, is if the weight dragging down forward is harder on your neck than straight down from the top. Hard to say yet. But anyway. I'd say that's my review of the Studio Form Creative Counterbalance Enthusiast Kit, which includes the head strap, the top strap, and the weights. If you guys are uh, using your own counterbalance kits, uh, I'd like to hear what you guys feel about it, if you feel like the extra weight's actually worth the more balanced fit. Like for me, it's, it's close. It's close. I'm leaning toward yes, but I'm not leaning towards strongly yes. Like it's in terms of the weights, it's a, I'm endorsing it hesitantly. You know what I mean? So, and I think a lot of it's just going to depend on you and what your body is like. Like if you're like a bodybuilder who doesn't have a neck, obviously the weight of these are going to mean nothing to you. Perhaps if you're a US soldier who spends all their time wearing an ACH, this will not bother you. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts, lads, lovelies, everyone in between. Thanks for coming by and listening. I appreciate your likes, subscribes, your shares, your comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.